what you're calling me to and girls. Wow. Thank you so, so much for joining us today. From all the platforms that you have joined us with, we really appreciate you and we are grateful to God for you. Boys and girls, we want to say thank you to the worship team. Can we say, can we clap the hands for them? Great. They have done a good job, haven't they? Thank you so much. Boys and girls, my name is Nancy Tele, and I'm delighted to have you today, even as we learn about parables. Boys and girls, you remember what we have learned about parables? A parable is a story, a simple story which has a what? A deeper meaning. A what? A deeper meaning. Boys and girls, do you remember what Teacher Ray have taught you last week? Did you, did you say something like parable of the Good Samaritan? Yes. The parable of the Good Samaritan. And thank you for joining us today. We shall have the parable. We shall learn about the parable of the talents. The parable of the talents. Boys and girls, I want to tell you a story about Joy and Pat. There were three things they were similar with. They stayed in the same neighborhood. They went to the same church and they went to the same school. So one day, one of the teachers told them in class, Boys and girls, I want you to prepare a song for the prize giving day. So what happened? The boys and girls didn't know what song they, they are going to sing, but they discussed together and they chose Joy to be the main soloist. And in as much as Joy was a little bit nervous, Pat uh, just tried to uh, encourage her and told her, no, 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 you can just sing, just sing. It's, don't worry, we shall be there to sing with you. And so Joy agreed. And what happened, boys and girls, the same week when they went to church, Christmas cantata was around the corner. And the Sunday school teacher asked the same question again. Boys and girls, do you have a song you can sing? All right, then you have to choose a soloist for that song. And 
the 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 the, the, the class chose uh, joy to do the singing the soloing okay and when they prepared together in as much as it was a bit uh, uh she was a bit nervous and a bit scared but she was encouraged along with the rest of the students in class boys and girls we can see joy using something very important even to bless others can i tell you a story in the bible our story is from the book of matthew chapter 25 verse 14 and it talks about the parable of the talents and this story was told by jesus and he told this story and uh, the story was about gold talents and three servants and one master what happened to this story there was this master who called his servants and gave them talents he gave them talents according to their abilities the gold talents according to their abilities so that they can go and trade with that money and one day one time the master will come back so he gave the first servant five talents he gave them how many he gave him how many five one two three four five he gave the first servant five talents and he gave the second servant two talents how many two can we count one two he gave him two talents and the last one he gave him one talent can we count one good boys and girls and when he gave them this talent he went on a long journey and when he came back after a long time he called out his servants to come and do what and account for the talents gold talents that he had given unto them and let's see what happened the first servant had what had been given how many talents five he brought five more that makes how many 10 boys and girls that makes 10 and the second servant was had been given two and he brought two more boys and girls it becomes how many four good and the last uh, servant was given one talent and what did he do he hid the talent he never used the talent boys and girls and what happened when the first servant and the second servant brought in their talents and they had doubled and multiplied their talents the master told them well done good and faithful servants well done and he was so excited that they were, were able to double their talents and what happened to the last servant he was called a wicked and lazy servant he never used the talent that he was he had been given what did he do he went and hid the talent instead of using it and trading it okay he hid the talent he never used that talent boys and girls what did, what happened this master um sent him away and punished him for not being able to use the talent he was given and he commanded that the talent that he brought the one talent be given to the one who had five who brought in five to make ten so how many talents did he get at the end of the day he got 11 talents okay and boys and girls remember what i said about the master the master gave the, boy, the, the the servants talents in relation to their abilities okay in relation to their abilities and all the talents were important okay and the talents that we may have sometimes we may feel afraid to use the talents we have or we may think like oh, what will other people think about me okay and you know these talents these are the giftings that god has put in us the giftings that have been passed on even from our family members okay there are so many gifts that we all have you and i have gifts within us we have talents within us some of you can sing so well okay some of you can sing some of you know how to clean some of you can do drama some of you can um 
you are you are you some of you I believe you are even prefects in your school that's a talent that's a gift that you have even to use it okay to bless others and god requires of us that we may use the talents that we have to be a blessing to others okay to even contribute to the kingdom of god in one way or another never feel that your talents is lower than the other okay even as the master gave the gifts he gave them according to abilities okay it means all the giftings that we have are important but the question is are we using our giftings to bless others are we using our giftings to be a to be a blessing even to the kingdom of god boys and girls i want to encourage you today there's some gift that you have that is in you that can be used even to bless others that can be used in school it can be used at home it can be used in church just like joy did she had a gifting and she used it in school and even as the teacher in sunday school asked about the christmas cantata she was ready to use the gift okay she was not afraid boys and girls i want to encourage each one of you to even ask god to be able to show you what gift you have there is no gift that is down there or a gift that is high there all gifts are important oh gi- all gifts are important in the kingdom of god and you and i can use those gifts to be a blessing to others boys and girls can i tell you something even as we talk about the master and the three servants we have our own master our master is jesus christ and even as we serve him the master will come one day one time and ask about the talents about the giftings that we use how did we use our giftings how did we bless others how did we become a blessing in the kingdom of god one day one time our master will come back and take us home boys and girls and the question is will we have used our gifts as we should have boys and girls i want to encourage you today that even with the gifts that you have never feel you are down there any gift that you have probably gift of drawing even poetry anything that will be a blessing you need to use it for the kingdom of god you need to use it as a blessing to others boys and girls i want to make a prayer for any one of you who has not received christ as lord and savior Jesus Christ is our master and he is calling on everyone to become part of the kingdom of God to be your master to be my master and he is calling on you even if you are not born again today you can be born again today would you mind to repeat this prayer after me great thank you boys and girls let's pray father in jesus name i thank you for this morning Thank you that you love me. Thank you that you died for me. I ask you to be the Lord and Savior of my life. Be my master even from today. Forgive my sins. I thank you for your love. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, you have become part of the kingdom of God. and you are a child of god this morning i want to pray for anyone any boy or girl who may want to know what their gifting is and some of you probably are interested to start using your gifts even to be a blessing to others so i'd like to pray for you let's bow our heads father in jesus name i thank you for these boys and girls they have come to you lord wanting to discover their gifts and even talents and abilities I pray that you will show them what gift they can they show them the gifts oh lord that they have in them oh god I pray that they will use these gifts and talents and abilities for the kingdom of god I thank you for your love thank you dear lord even as you guide them oh father that they shall become a blessing in the kingdom of god in jesus name I pray amen amen thank you boys and girls uh 
For today, we will have a craft. Uh, it's not a difficult craft, okay? So you will, um, in this picture, we have uh, something in form of a talent bag, okay? A talent bag. And in that talent bag, on the, on the part that is, um, on the part, on the upper side, there's a ribbon. Yeah, just the ribbon to show like the bag is being closed or open. Okay, this is a bag of talents. And in this bag, there is a scripture that we have even for today. First Peter chapter 10, 4 verse 10. And it says, each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others. Boys and girls, can we read together? Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others. Can we repeat the last time? Each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others. First Peter chapter 4, verse 10. And in this talent bag, even as we have learned the story, inside our hearts, inside us, we have gifts. So this is a this is something that you will flip up like this. Okay. And inside here, we have the gift of singing. Can you see that, boys and girls? Poetry, dancing, sports, cooking, drawing, playing instruments. Yes, some of you can play instruments and even drama, okay? All these are talents that are within you, okay? The talents that are within you, even as we have talked about the talents. So this is a craft that you can be, uh, make, boys and girls, when you flip up this uh, scripture, inside that round circular shape, you have the giftings that are any gifts that God has put in you. Boys and girls, will you make that craft? Awesome. And of course, you'll put the topic there, the parable of the talents. Boys and girls, uh, it's such a joy to have had you even in this session this lesson on the parable of talents. Will you forget? Awesome. You will not forget. We have learned today about the parable of the talents. And even as we close, I would want us to pray. Just bow our heads as we pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you. Thank you for this lesson on the parable of the talents. And God, I pray for every boy and every girl that God, you will help them to use the talents for the glory of your name, the abilities they have, the giftings that they have, even within, within them, even for the glory of, of God, and even to be a blessing in the kingdom. I thank you for each boy and girl, and I pray for a special blessing upon them as they go for this coming week. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Boys and girls, it's a joy to have had you, and I'd just like to say bye-bye. See you next week. God bless you.